Tape number 9 from The Waiting on God, held at the Hyatt Regency O'Hare, July 7 to 9, 1991. Praise God. Ushers, come. Let's go. Let's get ready. Let's take an offering. Let's dig in deep. Write a check. Let's all be a part of this. Uh, and what we want to do is... Uh, go ahead. Praise God. I got some good instruction right there. <laughs> We're going to take this offering... And we are going to just simply let the Holy Spirit direct the servant. We want to give the servant an opportunity to obey God. Um, there are some times that Reverend Helm, and if I may take the liberty to share this, through the years, because he's been so concerned about everybody else being taken care of, the first place he reaches to take money out to help others is from their own pocket. From his own personal account. They literally send thousands of dollars every year to help to others from their own pocket. And you never hear about it. You never know about it. And there are many times when I hear that, I want to say, Brother Helm, <laughs> that salary that, that, that God's provided is for you and for mother and take care of your needs. We need to be giving more so that the Holy Spirit, as he leads you to give this money, can be given. And, and I believe that with all my heart. And I believe we need to rally around that point. See, I'd love nothing better than for this year to be a banner year in giving uh, to the ministry. So that at the end of the year, the concern is not where the finance is, but where does the Holy Spirit want this finance to be sent so that God can be honored and God can be praised and the work of the kingdom can be enhanced. Now, along with that, though, I never want to infringe upon the servant and the Lord working with the servant because it, there is a principle involved in his life from the very beginning with his walk with God. And that is everything that he has is at God's disposal. And that's an example to us. So we never want to infringe or hinder or pressure him from giving of his finance when God directs him. But at the same point of the time, I don't want him to be giving from his finance when really the God wants that finance to come from the ministry. So the only way for us to handle that is to make sure there's enough money in the ministry that there's no pressure for him to have to take it out of his pocket unless God says, I want you to take it out of your pocket. Do I have a witness? Okay. <laughs> so I don't know if I made myself clear there, but I think the way to solve this problem is let's give such an abundant offering that the Holy Spirit can work. And if, if we can reimburse Brother Helm as much as he will permit us, we will do that. And everything else will just go for the work that as the Holy Spirit leads. Okay? Praise God. I should just come forward. Quickly, if you would. Thank you. It, why they're coming, raise your hands up if you'd like to have an uh, envelope because you're going to give cash and you get credit for your giving uh, here. And, and we will take an offering very quickly. Reverend Helm, who would be good to play the piano for uh, I'm praying about Anne or Rebecca Sue. Rebecca Sue, would you come, please? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Now, uh, <laughs> it's important to get the signals right. And, and in, uh, in football, we've got different signals. Now, on the football field, if there's a signal, there is a, a signal like this. It means there's been a score. Either there's been a touchdown, there's been a field goal, there's, but there's been a score. Now, I want us to realize when that signal goes up that that's a time to praise God with all the enthusiasm that you have within you because when a score is made and the stadium goes just bananas with a roar, I believe that's the way it should be in the church when we have an opportunity to obey God and be a part of the glorious ministry of the kingdom of God and we have a chance to score for the kingdom. So I would like to see a response to the signal that we've scored with all that is within you. Now you from Maranatha can lead the way. You've been conditioned. Cynthia, Indiana, you've been conditioned a little bit. Palm Beach Gardens, we're just trying to get in condition. But let's, in Alton, they've been conditioned. I want to see what kind of condition you're in. The rest of you, not in much shape. Just get in shape real quick and follow with the rest. Let's heed the signal. It's offering time.
Father, we thank you for the glorious privilege we have to give to your work. We are so stirred by the leadership of your Holy Spirit. Father, we cannot describe what we have sensed in our spirit today. But we're so thankful that we can be a part of it. We're so thankful that you have called us and spoken to us. And we're so thankful that we can give of ourselves to it. And we can give our finance freely to it, knowing that it's going to the very center of your will. So, Father, bless and sanctify and multiply this offering for the work of the kingdom of God in Jesus' name. Amen. You may be seated.